Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told out of voice of radio. So today, we need to be taking a little bit of a look at Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza to be exact. Now, look, Mega Rayquaza has... It's been very, very good for a very, very long time. But over in the standard format, it rotated out. And then expanded, people have been moving on to other things. I mean, instead of Mega Rayquaza, what's been better in expanded lately really has been Rayquaza GX. Now, Rayquaza GX does 30 damage for each, well, basic energy that's grass and lightning attached to your Pokemon. And then you got kind of Max Elixir to accelerate it. And we got Tapu Koko, Prism Star that really helps get the energy on. Not to mention Shaman, Prism Star, which basically has the same attack. But is a single prize Pokemon. And we, we kind of drifted away from it. But you see, I think Mega Rayquaza is about to come back. And I think it's about to be really good. And I think the reason is Guzma and Halla. We'll get to it in a minute. So Mega Rayquaza then, for free colorless energy... It does 30 damage times the number of your benched Pokemon. And in the expanded format, we have Skyfield. Skyfield means you can have 8 bench Pokemon. Emerald Break can do 240 damage. That, ladies and gentlemen, is quite fantastically huge. Or is it? Because you see, some Tag Team GXs, think things like Pikachu and Zekrom, are going to go down here fairly easily. But then we get stuff like Reshiram and Charizard that have 270. And all of a sudden, you're not actually quite doing enough damage here. And that's, that's potentially going to be a little bit of a problem. But we'll get into the damage and the matchups and all of that in a little bit. Why Guzma and Halla? Although I should point out quickly that Trainer Chip over on Twitter, at Trainer Chip, he has tweeted out about this. I don't believe he's the only one that's come up with the idea, and certainly it occurred to me. But he did tweet it out, and a bunch of people saw it. I did see the tweet. So let's give a bit of love to Trainer Chip for putting this idea out there. Cheers, Trainer Chip. So, Guzma and Halla then. It is a tag team supporter card that searches your deck for a stadium card, puts it in your hand, and shuffles your deck. Well, that's all right, ladies and gentlemen. You need Skyfield. That's going to help greatly. But you may discard two cards from your hand if you do search your deck for a Pokemon tool and a special energy, put them in your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely loving it because, you see, there's another card that's made Mega Rayquaza absolutely better, and that is Triple Acceleration Energy. You see, the problem with Mega Rayquaza is that it takes free energy. So you need double colorless energy, and you essentially use Mega Turbo, but then you've got to get an energy in your discard pile, a basic, and draw Mega Turbo after it hits your discard pile, and get the double colorless, it gets a little bit awkward. Here, you just need your triple acceleration energy, and Guzma and Halla will search immediately for your triple acceleration energy. And honestly, the only other thing you really need here is a Pokemon tool. And you need Rayquaza Spirit Link. Now, Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza, has the ancient trait, Delta Revolution. You may play this card from your hand to evolve a Pokemon during your first turn, or on the turn you play that Pokemon. So we can evolve straight away, but Mega Revolution ends your turn. That's where Rayquaza Spirit Link comes in. Spirit Link is a tool that says you can Mega Revolve, without ending your turn. Now, as a side note here, it does essentially lock you out of Choice Band, which is really awkward because you need Choice Band to hit 270, Boo, Hiss, etc. But you've now got your Spirit Link, which allows you to evolve turn one, and all of a sudden, Guzma and Haller's looking a little bit broken. You play Guzma and Haller, and it gets you the stadium you need to fill your bench to hit 240. It gets you the tool you need to Mega Revolve without ending your turn, and it gets you the energy you need to pay the attack cost straight off the bat. This is amazing. But we can actually go a little bit further, because we need to get Guzma and Halla. And you've got two options. They are Tapu Lele, and they are Jirachi. Now, generally speaking, Tapu Lele is better than Jirachi. It's got almost double the HP. It's got no weakness rather than a bad weakness to fire. 
and it's got a genuinely usable attack. They've both got abilities that search for a supporter, but Tapu Lele is generally better. Except in this deck, and the reason is Hooper. You see, Hooper's got a lovely ability, whereby when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may search for free Pokemon EX, except for Hooper, reveal them and put them into your hand. So here, you can search yourself a Rayquaza, a Mega Rayquaza, and a Jirachi, and then Jirachi gets you Guzma and Hala, and Guzma and Hala gets you the Skyfield, the Triple Acceleration Energy, the Rayquaza Spirit Link. That's pretty gosh darn great, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the problem here is that although you've got everything you need, you've still got to discard two cards from your hand in order to use Guzma and Hala, and you could end up being a little bit light in terms of having cards left over in your hand. Bearing in mind, one Hooper will get you both the Rayquaza and the Jirachi for the supporter, which gets you everything else. What we really want ideally here, however, is a Shaman. So hopefully, you've either got a Rayquaza or a Mega Rayquaza in hand, so that you only have to search for one of them, so that your Hooper can get you a Jirachi, a Rayquaza, and a Shaman, because you've already got the Mega Rayquaza all the other way around in terms of Rayquazas. And then all of a sudden, you're rolling. And if you go second, this is a turn one play. I mean, if you go first, for the love of all that is good and holy, do not attach a triple acceleration energy, it falls off at the end of your turn. But this is a go second, get a one-hit KO on a tag team GX kind of attack. Now, it's not perfect. It's considerably more consistent, but it's not perfect. Firstly, if your opponent plays down a power plant, you need to get rid of the power plant before you play the Hooper, because this will block your Hooper, and it will block your Jirachi, and it will block your Shaman, that's really bad. Incidentally, because you're playing Skyfield and you want a full bench of Pokemon, you do really need to be playing four Shaman in this deck, like we have been in Rayquaza decks for a while now. And also, you don't always trade as well as you'd like. So against, say, a Reshiram and Charizard, what you really need to try and do here is get a one-hit KO for free prizes. They're hitting 230, they're gonna get a one-hit KO. Now, if you can just use Guzma and Haller every turn, you're fine. And you're basically playing a tag team supporter and that's getting you everything you need. They're having to use a Welder with two energy in hand, then attach a third energy and already have an energy on there. For one of the KOs, they can use a free energy double blaze, except they can't because you've got 220 HP. So they do need four energy per attack. You need one energy attachment. So you'll be trading very favorably, but please do bear in mind that you're not getting a one-hit KO. What you can do here, and this is a little bit awkward, is you can play Tool Scrapper. Now, Tool Scrapper here is great. Choose up to two Pokemon Tool Cards attached to Pokemon in play, yours or your opponent's, and discard them. So what you could do here is play the Rayquaza Spirit Link to Mega Revolver, ending your turn, then Tool Scrap it away and then play a Choice Band. That is awkward and convoluted, but that is one way to get the extra damage going here. You could also just play around with stuff like Crobat and Golbat, and they've got free retreats so they can't get stuck in the active, etc. But at that stage, you're getting a little bit awkward. You can use Hypnotosic Laser for poison, but you can't use Verbank because you need the Sky Field. You could use Plus Power but then you've got to play three of them in one turn and you're only going to be playing four in your deck so that only gets you one extra KO and I would much rather play around with Tool Scrapper Choice Band than play around with Plus Powers. Now, against Pikachu and Zekrom, you're absolutely fine. You're going to be getting an easy one-hit KO. And against other decks, you may well end up just having a bit more staying power. Now, we haven't had a big expanded tournament since the Hartford Regionals back in May, and that was when Team Up was legal, but Unbroken Bonds and Unified Minds weren't. So it's not brilliantly instructive when it comes to results. But at that tournament, the winner was Jose Marrero using Rayquaza GX. 
and you should be a bit more consistent and get the energy on a bit more easily than them. They need eight basic energy on the field, three of which are on Rayquaza, in order to get the KO, and even with the ability and Max Elixir and all of that, that's going to be very difficult. Pikachu and Zekrom also did have a really good showing, and Zoroark decks were all over. It sounds good, but the problem is in Expanded we've also got some other decks which are far less awkward. The second place deck was Trevenant. Trevenant item locks. Now, straight away that turns off your spirit link, but it also makes your deck a lot less consistent and that's going to hurt. Hitmonchan with Wobbuffet is a very, very good deck that frankly did incredibly well. It got 8th place, it got 9th place, it got 12th place. Three of the top 16 were Hitmonchan Wobbuffet and their ability lock. And that's a bit of a problem because you're kind of really reliant on abilities. And then, of course, we had Raichu and Stoutland, which block supporter cards while also paralyzing you every single turn. See where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen? There are enough lock decks in the expanded format that it is going to be awkward to consistently get this rolling. If you're playing against stuff like Pikachu and Zekrom and Zoroark decks, I think you're going to have a very good time. Against the bigger HP stuff like Reshiram and Charizard, if that makes it into expanded, you're going to struggle to hit the higher damage. But against lock decks here, you are very, very vulnerable to ability lock. And you're kind of vulnerable to trainer lock as well. And that's where you fall down. Triple Acceleration Energy and Guzma and Hala have made Mega Rayquaza so much better than it was. Though I do still have some reservations about how it will do against the more annoying decks in the expanded format. But you know you've got to look into this and test it, don't you? I'd like to know how good you think it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen, so let us know in the comment section. Go nuts! Me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wazzy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.